everyone's like, oh my God, I'm so stuffed. And I'm like, oh, can I have a bit more? Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name's Tara and I make two videos a week. They're all about fashion, beauty and travel. So if that's what you like, make sure you subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. So today's video is a Q&A. And I put it up on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, also come and follow me over there because I post on there every day. So you can keep up to date with what I'm up to and ask you guys to ask me anything they're so random but i thought it was quite nice i'm gonna get straight into the q a all questions are unanimous just so that everyone can ask any questions that they wanted to ask first question is how did you get into blogging so i started a blog in 2010 when i was applying for university back in 2010 people were blogging but it wasn't as widespread as it is now because i was going to do a journalism degree i thought how can i stand out from other applicants I started a blog and when I went in for my interview I printed it all out and I put I put it all in a portfolio and I walked into my interview and I said I have a blog I had such an awful name it was like fashionista doll or something I can't even remember I took it to my interview and they loved the fact that I was so forward thinking and that I'd kind of used my own initiative to start a blog that they gave me an unconditional offer then and there and that was something that I couldn't believe I had because for months I'd been joking with my friends like oh have you guys got any results yet and then I'd be like oh I got an unconditional we hadn't even sent off our applications yet I hadn't even had an interview or anything yet so I was just literally joking about it and then when it happened I was like oh my god I actually got an unconditional which if you're not familiar with what an unconditional means is the university like what you're you're doing already they think that you're a great asset to the university so they don't really care what grades you get your place is there no matter what grade you get i didn't need to have those grades to be able to get in because they they liked what i had shown them at the interview so much that they wanted me at the university so i was on cloud nine and if i'm honest i didn't work as hard as i probably should have for my a levels because I knew that the university that I wanted to go to had accepted me already and I just really thought why should I bother which is so bad thinking back on it when I got the unconditional offer I shut the blog down and I thought I've got what I need right now I don't I don't need to blog anymore and it's not until 2013 when this is Terra was started and it's what it is now we're five years later now and i've been blogging i've been blogging full time for two and a half years it's been crazy i started solely doing fashion and now it's moved on to more of a lifestyle blog where i do traveling i do restaurant reviews beauty and fashion of course i will never stop doing the fashion i've completely loved where i've come and the point that i'm at right now question number two what was your favorite holiday in 2017 last year was like my year of holiday the blog really picked up in terms of traveling because i'd never done traveling before last year on my blog so that was crazy and every single experience i went on was just as good as the last so it was incredible but i have to say it's a cross between dubai and my cruise i've never done a cruise before and i never probably would have thought of going on a cruise until I was like 60 years old or something but honestly it was incredible the cruise that I went on was more of a like a booze cruise more of a party cruise and the music wasn't really to my taste but the whole atmosphere the people on it the staff the food oh my god the food on the cruises are incredible the whole experience was amazing so I can't choose between the two of them because Dubai was just something that I've wanted to do forever and it happened but the cruise was just so fun and so different and I never thought I would have wanted to go on a cruise and I just loved it. The cruise docked off from Barcelona so we went the night before and we explored Barcelona and then the next day we set off to Ibiza so we spent like a day and a half there and then we went off to set and then back to Barcelona. It was like a four or five day cruise but it was so much fun. If you've never been on a cruise and you have the budget for it I'd highly recommend it because there's just so much to do on it. Parties everywhere. It's like a massive hotel on the water but like 10 times bigger than any hotel you've ever been to. I just can't go over it. Anyway, if you could only pick one out of the following, what would you pick? Eyebrows, mascara, foundation, or highlighter? Hmm. 
that's really hard okay so i'm cheating but i've already got my eyebrows microbladed if you haven't seen the vlog for that i will link that down below so i don't need anything for my eyebrows really so mascara foundation or highlighter oh i don't know which one between highlighter or mascara i think I think I would say mascara because for me personally I feel like when my lashes are done it just makes my whole face pop and you could really cheat with highlighter you could just use anything else so like a bit of Vaseline is that right is that okay can I say that I'm gonna go with mascara I feel like I cheated but it's fine <laughs> what do you do on your bad days to make you feel better it's really varied it depends on how bad of a day I'm having if I'm like having an awful day where i'm just like oh my god i can't deal right now literally get into bed watch some netflix and just like zone out of the world just zone out for a few days if i'm not that extreme i get up and go shopping that always gives me like an adrenaline or i spend some time with my mum she really makes me happy and she can always cheer me up whenever i feel really down she annoys me because she knows me so well that she literally weaves in and i'm like i really don't want to talk to anyone right now but she's like, hi. <laughs> yeah, she just puts me in a much better mood whenever I'm feeling down. How do you decide what to blog next? I kind of just go with the flow. So if I'm out shopping or I'm browsing online or something and I see something that I really like, I will buy it and um, make like a blog post about it. But I'm not set in my mind, I need to find this outfit and find this and do that. And in terms of traveling and the content that I produce, I just really decide what country I really want to go to. I mean, obviously if an opportunity comes up with a brand or something and they're going to take me away that's kind of all separate but in the terms of the content that I do all on my own because I like to do a lot of content from myself that's not sponsored just comes from the heart I guess just look at places that I think are Instagrammable will be really hot and nice and warm and a lot of fun and good food to be honest and I kind of go from there I just review places that I really enjoy so for me my blog is literally things that I really enjoy and things that I think you guys will also enjoy this one's from my friends but I thought I had to put this one in how did you meet your besties they're two sisters that are like my closest friends in the whole wide world we actually met at Turkish school so if you're not familiar with what Turkish school is I'm Turkish Cypriot a lot of people from my generation they still do it and the generations before they kind of set up a Turkish school for all the kids to go on a Saturday and learn Turkish culture Turkish music Turkish language and do like GCSEs, A-levels. We were also doing traditional Turkish folk dancing. And that's kind of where we all met. We've been friends for years now. How long has it been? It's like 2006, I think. 12 years, wow. It's a long time. she done everything together. We used to go to like dance festivals together when we were younger. And then as we've got older, we've started going on holidays, just us, which is so fun. That's how I met my besties. I know they're gonna be watching and I know they love this. They're gonna be like, oh, she's talking about me. <laughs> they're such weirdos, I swear. I love them. How do you put an outfit together? So this is really similar to how I find my next blog post. So when I'm out and about and shopping and I find an item that I really like, I kind of think, does this work with the rest of my wardrobe? And I kind of go from there. For every day, I kind of start with basics. Like in the winter, I love wearing jeans. Honestly, it's just so cold to wear anything else. So I start with my jeans and I think, what top will go with that? What boot, what jacket? And I kind of go from there. So for me, I find one key piece and I work around that piece. How I style myself depends on how I'm feeling. So if the weather is miserable outside, I'm wearing black. I'm liking morning. So the mood and the weather kind of reflect my outfit a lot. Is that weird? Does anyone else do that? Let me know if anyone else does that because I feel like I'm such a weirdo. How do you keep your weight maintained? So this is like a really controversial subject, I think, because I'm I'm not like a nutritionist. I can't really give anyone advice. But for me, I eat a lot. Honestly, I eat a lot of food and no one really realises this until like we go out for dinner. Everyone's like, oh my God, I'm so stuffed. I'm like, oh, can I have a bit more? So I eat a lot, but I try to eat healthy. And I noticed recently that I was going to so many afternoon teas. A lot of food. And then I'd go for dinner as well after that. So I'd be eating a lot and I put on a little bit of weight. 
So I've kind of cut out the afternoon teas, try to watch my weight when I'm at home because I don't know if any of you guys are bloggers, you will know when you go to events, the food that they put out, you can't resist it, honestly. A, it looks so good and then B, once you taste it, you're like, oh my God, bring them here. Usually me and my friends are always like standing next to the kitchen because that's where the food comes out. So I try to watch my weight while I'm at home during the week and when I'm out at events I kind of, I treat myself I guess because life's too short to kind of think oh I can't eat that. So just treat yourself every now and then but try to control yourself while you're at home. That's what I like to do. Do you ever get depressed? Okay so this is one that I think again is very controversial because I know it's a very triggering subject to talk about but I thought someone felt the need to ask me this so I need to answer back. I can't say that I've ever felt depressed but I have felt very very down. A few things have happened they've kind of changed who I am because I was so upset because of them and I've written a whole blog post about that so I will also link that down below so have a little read of it and it, it might help you. I don't know how I feel whether it is depression or if it is just serious upset maybe it is the both i'm not sure like i said i'm 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 not someone who's kind of educated in this matter so really i don't have a leg to stand on but i have been very very upset and very very down and i've kind of had to work on myself and improve myself to kind of deal with those sort of situations a lot better For me having such a supportive family and like friend group around me has really helped when particular things did happen and it kind of changed who i was it was really really hard and it was just that one point that I got to and then I was like why am I crying over this I wrote a blog post about it and that was kind of my final straw of like whew. I felt like a weight was lifted over my shoulders and I've been able to not go back to who I was but kind of worry less and stress less because of that matter in my eyes I don't see that as being depressed where I was like crying for a year and a half but it was very upset but if anyone is suffering from depression or they're not sure if it's depression or something please do go and seek some help because there's so much help out there nowadays like mental health is so important if you've got a great support system around you talk to someone a lot of people do care about you and someone is around you to help you so never be fearful of kind of telling someone you know what I really don't feel good I feel really stressed I feel really upset I feel depressed whatever it may be just don't be afraid of speaking out to someone so yeah that was quite a deep question but thank you for asking that because I feel like bloggers kind of just put out this this role of everything is perfect but it's not no one's life is perfect every life has ups and downs so it's, it's great for you guys to hear from me that I also have very low days as well. What do I use on my hair? So I am very low maintenance with my hair and I use a lot of dry shampoo because my hair gets really oily really quickly. One of my favorite ones is like the Batiste. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I personally, I find it cheap and easy. Also, I use any type of oil at the bottom of my hair because I get dry ends because I straighten and curl my hair a lot. The oil that I use kind of like differs between Marula and Moroccan oil, and Argan oil. So it's whatever I kind of can reach that I kind of use. Almost finished. Describe your dream perfect day. So my perfect day will start with a lion and then I would have brunch. So I'd go out for brunch or even better, if I'm at a hotel, I'd have brunch sent up and then kind of spend the day out and about with my boyfriend and then come home to a massive meal with my family. That is like the ideal day for me. But if we're like talking about like an extremely dreamy day i would just be sitting on the beach reading a good book all day long with a cocktail in my hand and then going out at night because that is the life so what are my favorite stores so i really differ so as you guys probably can tell from my channel i love high street but i also love luxury as well i can't afford a lot of luxury at the moment i kind of invest in key pieces so currently i really enjoying pieces from marge Stuart weitzman in terms of footwear i love top shop i love zara like there's a few stores that i will always go in but i will never not look at a shop because you can always find 
the most incredible pieces in places you never expected. If it's from Zara, great. That's like a shop that I always go to. But if it's from M&S or something, I will also purchase it because why not? For me, the most important thing is the quality. It doesn't have to be extremely expensive, but as long as the material looks good and heavy duty, I'm happy. Always try and focus on getting pieces that are just well made. There we have it. That is my very long q and I hope this has been a nice way for you guys to kind of get to know me a little bit more. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. We're so close to 700 subscribers. It's like a tiny fraction of what a lot of people are doing. But for me, it's like one of my goals this year is to reach at least 1000 subscribers. So help a girl out and hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this Q&A and let me know if you guys are interested in doing more Q&As and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.